briefing and we'll make a presentation of anti-corruption uh, draft law 2423, which will make that all the information about uh, all property will become public information. I invite participants for the briefing uh, to make the presentation. Good uh, afternoon, good morning. It makes sense to say right away that the initiative of this uh, draft law belongs uh, to Leonid Kozachenko. He, he was after several MPs in the parliament in order to unite them and to sign the draft law which opens information which is important uh, for the society to control corruption in uh, the government. And now we'll have uh, this group representing all the functions except of the oppositional bar block signed under this uh, draft law, what is uh, suggested to do? To open all the information about uh, land and uh, pro uh, property and cars uh, citizens of Ukraine have. The main idea of this law, by the way, it looks like um, a similar law which was started uh, the uh, approved in Finland and uh, Finland uh, together with other Scandinavian countries and Switzerland are the leaders in the corruption fight. They overcame it com almost completely. They don't know what that is, at least from our experience. The main idea of that law, and we copy international experience and uh, to Im involve the society, to give uh, a chance uh, to citizens to control the um, Everyone, to include everyone, uh, who understand that uh, purification of the cleaning of the country, that's their own uh, task. And uh, as uh, Leonid uh, mentions very often, we don't uh, cross the, the, the clever line of protection of uh, private life. And all the stars, uh, they are uh, in... Uh, they should sleep well, and uh, so the fans will not go to their home because all the information about uh, land, uh, about real estate, about uh, land, real estate, cars will be, ex with some exceptions, will not tell number plates, number plate of a citizen, and will not uh, give a, uh, an address of an apartment or house that belongs uh, to the citizen or. It will mention on which street, which city, but then it will be impossible to find it. Uh, for people not to have uh, problems for, with the uh, fans, uh, maniac, and uh, those with other who like to make. Uh, who would like to give them a hard time. I discussed that with the ambassador of Finland, how the country went uh, through that. They say it was. Um, Unusual at the beginning, there were people for whom it, it became a hobby to study the information about uh, property of uh, people, but they didn't find a lot of abuse and um, the, the very good uh, anti corruption effect um, they created. We hope that to, to have the same. We don't trust our police. We have lots of questions. I said to that uh, our uh, heads of the state would like to overcome uh, corruption and uh, our citizens would like to do that and the more information we give about that the sooner our country will compete with Finland and Switzerland uh, in world ratings of uh, overcoming corruption. I would like uh, to give the floor to Leonid. Thank you, Yegor. Uh, I actually covered almost everything. I would only like to add here that I did it in response to the request of our big uh, associations uniting nearly all the professional uh, associations with tens of thousands of members, those who work, who pay their taxes. It was actually the demand of the business community. You know that I am the chair of the Entrepreneurial Council with the Cabinet of Ministers, and they did count on my 
civic responsibility on that. This is why we prepared this bill, and most of the EU countries have uh, such experience, and similar experience uh, is also shared by Georgia, and it is really a positive development for, for the society and the public. You may bring different examples, and I uh, do know that some celebrities express their fears of too much details being disclosed. I do remember the time uh, when they introduced similar legislation in Romania about eight years ago, and in one of these of local universities, they they joked about it. They say that if before you would go to a discotheque and uh, discotheque and tell a, a girl that I can give you a lift on my Mercedes or Lamborghini, and now after this legislation. The girl can easily check on her iPhone that I only own a bike and uh, is no longer enticed in that. But actually, seriously, uh, it was really a beneficial development because this is one of the very important tools to fight corruption. Uh, further on, we have uh, other ideas to implement. And uh, I think it's really good to see that a relevant committee in the parliament is deeply engaged and contributes to the process. And this is the committee chaired by Mr. Sobolev. Other committees that are not the, the line committees for such processes will be involved as, as well. We managed to form an MP community around our ideas. We feel certain resistance on behalf of uh, some governmental authorities. Say the Ministry of Interior uh, really is against uh, being freed from their monopoly to having uh, this to maintaining this database of vehicles, registration details for vehicles. They would say that uh, they fear the database will be broken or tampered with. Uh, I think this is not serious on their behalf to say it like this. I think that we will push and we will bring this to logical end. This is what I wanted to share you with. In good morning, I'm uh, Vitaly Shabunin. I, I'm, I'm chairing the Center, Anti-Corruption Center NGO. So how the, the, the law will work, you can go online to check for all types, say, of uh, properties that a given person is owning, or who owns a given plot of land. And this is very important, for example, to see who are the culprits uh, behind uh, certain pieces of land or seaside or beachside territories being privatized or closed. You know that uh, about uh, 800,000 civil servants will have to regularly provide the declarations of, op of ownership and Without such uh, register of an, uh, no one will be able to check their properties. And this agency in this database will uh, they they will be able to do it. But for that purpose, this law is clearly necessary because it will allow the citizens to check for uh, for themselves whether the information provided in declarations stands to truth. Without uh, that, it it will be meaningless and also changes to the criminal code made last year uh, that specifically concern fight against corrupt, uh, corruption uh, it will be inoperative without any possible uh, without any possibilities to verify the supplied information you have probably witnessed already the big number of uh, journalist investigations against high-ranking officials with their properties and land plots. And uh, I think such investigations will be more efficient and more quick with this new possibility of checking for property using, say, the name of the person, rather than trying to look for some land uh, cadaster 
uh, registration number, for example. And this law will act against those who illegally bought property or procured property. All Ukrainian, all international associations, business communities are in favor of this law because they do understand that uh, there are normal people who have nothing to hide and if we take public officials, there are those who live far beyond the limits their salary would allow. Um, there are some registers in place now, but uh, there are people also who use these registers for the for their own benefits, for say hostile takeovers. And again, with this law, it will be possible to quickly check whether your property is still yours, or some uh, bandits have already took taken it. Again. This law will put an end to attempts of law enforcement uh, agencies uh, that sometime are enticed into trading the registration information illegally. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your attention and I would invite Denis Bigus as one of the most u active users of this register to speak. Denis Bigus, I'm a journalist. Denis Bihus. And uh, I love uh, such an initiative, the second Celiarsk Office 100. And uh, I will say briefly, inform you briefly about uh, circular projects, uh, whether there are registers today, and a lot of uh, opportunities, a lot new opportunities. And uh, please. This is the site, Harnahata, and this is the project we started after we opened the register of, um, of rights for real estate in, that, uh, in the way it is open today. Journalist uh, investigators have they received an opportunity to check who is uh, no, on, on uh, one or the other address. address. We made the rating of the the most expensive real estate in Kiev, and then we look through owners. In in one month, we and our colleagues, uh, according to materials of this uh, site, we we had uh, fifteen investigations, and uh, we didn't look through even. Uh, 25% of what we have on the website. So these news, you've heard about an apartment uh, of uh, the son of Avakov, uh, about the apartment on the Levachenko, about uh, Kaletnik and, and the rest. Those investigations were done after we opened the register of uh, real rights, real estate rights, and after these names uh, propped up on, uh, on uh, the website of Harnahata. What can be done after they pass this draft law and eventually get the right to, uh, to search uh, by name? Now, we will not, uh, will not uh, get the final address, but we'll find uh, the description of that property. Um, public so, uh, public uh, servants have. What's the main sense? To check real estate with the declared, to compare what is declared, what they really have. This is a new project uh, of Office 100, and we launched it today at 6 o'clock in the morning. It's uh, the, uh, digital declarations of uh, public students uh, for uh, automatic uh, search and analysis and uh, comparison, what they really have and what they uh, declared. Why do we need to have this resource? Because at present, a uh, digital form of publication of uh, declarations about um, income, public students uh, have, they, there is a scanned copy, it is uh, packed, it, uh, packed in archive, archive is packed uh, in, uh, in the set apart on um, the official site, it's it's, and it's impossible to use that. So m m mass media will, they will probably give information about the main uh, top public students, but 
the most unnoticeable clerk, clerks and uh, uh, chief of the department who regulates uh, that will, he will not get attention. So we collect uh, the declara those declarations from official websites and we, we create a special form which ref shows uh, which uh, reflects uh, paper uh, declaration and we invite vol volunteers to spend some hours uh, some minutes and uh, to to insert the data from paper uh, scanned document uh, scanned uh, scanned document to this uh, digital form so in two months we processed uh, the first round of uh, digitalizing of uh, those declarations in three days, so we 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 uh, inserted uh, twelve thousand declarations, and uh, then we had to analyze and clean that work, and uh, because uh, that was on uh, in, on a perimeter level that was done, but we used that negative experience and we developed a special form, and now it will uh, work better. So this initiative or this uh, project I wanted uh, to present and uh, in general opening electronic registers or any information in a good digital form which allows uh, to work on it and uh, to use it and to get inform useful information from that. In my opinion it will it doesn't have any negative uh, component. We have experience uh, of a country when all information was closed or the access only uh, to certain uh, bodies. The access was, uh, was provided to certain bodies. In addition to closeness and, uh, and uh, black veil or co co corruption and uh, or sale of that selling that information we didn't have anything positive from that so i am sure that openness is always good that's it thank you for your attention i am denis kvartalny from ubr tv channel when we entered it here we were given this infographics sheets and there was a mention of fee-based information delivery so who the money uh, to whom the money will go and secondly okay we enter a name of uh, of some Kurchenko say or oligarch to show to see what vehicles does he own and there is no information on that because you know traditionally oligarchs in Ukraine are shy of uh, putting their names under, under the property they, they own. So how it is possible to make people register property to their own proper names, because otherwise it will be just a shoot in the blank. Uh, first answer, you don't need to pay anything unless you want official documents. It will be in online, on online, in online regime, when you can just enter the name first and second names of the person to get uh, general information. If you want official document with signature and stamp, uh, you can do it via notary service officer or through some legal advisory company and they will charge you. But pre previous preliminary information and search will be free of charge. As regards how to make people register property to their own names, I don't think there is any way to do it. And I think um, if you have some suspicions about a given official, a high ranking official, then you will probably have to check for names of his parents or sisters or uh, other relatives. I would not disclose the name of a deputy. Um, um, but uh, the question to him was, uh, uh, he, he asked me, do you have a driver because uh, you have a, a car shown in your declaration? Uh, do you have this Mercedes really? Do you own it? 
I said, well, first of all, this is not Mercedes that they own. Secondly, yes, I do have the car and I did declare it. Uh, so it was really a sign, of, a sign of disbelief in his eyes. But we are just in the process of beginning the case. And here we count on your strong support. We need the support from the media. Uh, given the support we already have and enjoy from the business community and the majority in the parliament, I think we will succeed. But there is strong apprehension from other groups in the society. And we need to work together on that. Uh, uh, most of the time, officials would use some legal entities, companies, to register their property, but you will be able to check for these company names. We know that a given MP lives in this building or apartment or has this home. And you can actually check this information already now, given the existing register. But then you will see that uh, there is a legal entity to which this building has been registered. But again, you will, uh, you will be able to check this company to see what other properties have been registered with it. To see really the, the number of properties. And this will open a whole new layer of information. Regarding the fees, everyone from us to journalists uh, think that the information we provide should be free of charge, but there is a position of the Ministry of Justice that say that we need some small fees to support, viably support the maintenance of this register. We are still in the process of discussing it with the Ministry, whether we will keep this free of charge access. Uh, we will inform you promptly as soon as we get results. I have a question regarding uh, ownership declarations. Do you have all of the all of the declarations, or you have uh, just for a number them for a number of years in a row? And the question to you, go: Is it possible to make our MPs provide and supply their declarations for at least the last three years? Because at times they are reluctant to do it. S regarding uh, declarations, we have a huge problem. Uh, even with paper-based declarations, because there is no single place uh, where they are kept. Every year, there are changes to the law of who has to process and publish these declarations. And obviously, uh, no authority uh, has ever properly disclosed this declaration details. So I think that uh, we are going to take declarations from all sorts of sites, websites, where they are placed. And what we already did uh, is just our first trial step, and we are going to go further in that. Uh, given that there is a mandatory requirement for officials to publish and disclose that these declarations as regards the number of declarations, I, I think we are going to have plenty, really plenty of them. The new version of the law, anti-corruption law adopted in October last year envisages a preventive agency, a preventive body to be found. This body will have to maintain an electronic database of all the property and ownership declaration. It is, a, it, it is about cabinet and its decision uh, when this uh, service will be up and going. When a person goes to the parliament, is elected as an MP, it has to provide declar declaration. It must do it. And this is the task also for every activist to see how his financial position has changed since the moment he first entered the parliament. Uh, now we have extended our capacities to check for all levels of officials, including those working in self-government. Uh, and we, we need to look further into the list of related persons, relatives, drivers, whatever. We will be better able to find those hidden schemes involving some hidden owners, hiding properties of their masters. You know, a clean, a clean country is not created in one night. And 
you look in the example of uh, Denis' work, we can see that it does pays off, you know, to have these civic efforts implemented. According to the recent legislation on illustration, we received the possibility to analyze so pranking civil service. Now we are better able to check even the greater number of uh, officials, whether it is a region, a Ryan prosecutor or judge or whatever. Irina Vinagradova, uh, when, in your opinion, this service will be finally online, who will be filling the database with information? Uh, what will be the sources of information? Is it just a new development or you are going to build upon existing resources? First of all, let's see this uh, bill okayed by the Parliament, because my colleague mentioned it, that some MPs uh, are reluctant to vote for it because they see imminent risks. But again, we are already past the situation with illustration legislation and the law on declaration of property. There were time when people would feel uh, really uneasy about uh, their real financial status discovered. So after this uh, legislation adopted, uh, the, it will unite the public, it will cleanse the country, it will I think if the public will ask MPs whether they, if they're willing to really vote for this final openness in ownership, I think they will be compelled to do it. In terms of technical capacities, on one hand, we need months to do it properly tec technical side-wise. But again, the ministry uh, just as did a good step by opening up the register of legal entities. And this is a nice example to follow. Uh, we have many multiple problems with land management, with land plots and properties being registered improperly. And there are certain incentives to keep corruption in this area. But I think that this piece of legislation will really force the government to finally put things in the land management in order because all the information on land management and land ownership will be bound for immediate publication and real owners will be disclosed. Most of the registers are currently maintained and administered by the Ministry of Justice. Uh, the information about land is maintained and administered by the State Land Managing Agency. I think as soon as we are through with this, our step, we will involve the white public to streamline the situation with existing registers, because we see it as a corruption scheme that we have inherited from the times of uh, Viktor Yushchenko, and the scheme was even more perfected at the time of Yanukovych. We know of companies really uh, using these state registers uh, to increase the revenues. There are companies that have, uh, having had designed special software, are now demanding huge royalties from the state. And we will put this in order as well. All this uh, database, we have it. Why? It depends on the government or when you get uh, when you can get access into this uh, database because there are some details in this uh, database in the in the law it says that there will be no number of the house and no uh, number of your uh, car there should be changes in that uh, software so two associations um, that are professional and they're doing that business i mean uh, um, IT companies, and they are ready to provide the service of free of charge to the government. It will take them several days. It's elementary work. On the base of that, um, uh, the software or sub or Oracle CCA is uh, the base of that project. So it will take them two, two, three days of work. They will do it free of charge. They will need just uh, they need uh, to get a permission on. They should be well, and uh, they will. 
Some state bodies uh, need, need pressure to express that well. Businesses support that. You'll not find a lot of uh, deputies, but member, family members, their friends, especially prosecutors, the police, that judges. For you, you will have such a base. You will not believe that it can happen in the country. So, um, and uh, that's where those categories are afraid of that. And we have not done anything, but there is a lot of uh, things have become, but we'll overcome that, and this law will uh, be in uh, effect. Uh, the briefing is all.